are right now in the beginning of a climate and ecological crisis, and we need to call it out for what it is, an emergency. According to NASA, the hottest months have occurred since 1990 and temperatures since 2015 seem to have broken all the wrong records. So I think that students have the right to take their future into their own hands. I mean, they're protesting to try and have a world to grow up in, to have a world for their kids to grow up in. And why would they sit at school trying to build their future if they're not going to have a future? Right now, the politicians that are in, um, in power, they are much older. They're from an older generation. They're not actually going to have to see out the consequences of their inaction on climate change. These graphs from Australia and worldwide data all convey the same message, that our world is heating up and it will continue to do so. Uh, according to the IPCC, um, the panel on climate change, they've put out a statement saying that we need to be 100%, we need to have a 60% reduction in our emissions over the next 10 years um, at a minimum. And they're being conservative, so probably we need more than 60 to 70% reduction in emissions in the next 10 years. And the state government of Victoria's um, emissions target reduction is only uh, around 40%, I think, in the next 10 years. And so, really, the state government needs to do even more, even though they're better than a lot of governments around Australia. Um, and the federal government, well, at the moment, they're not doing anything. So everyone out there, it is now time for civil disobedience. It is time to rebel.